In this experiment, we'll be looking at the electrolysis of copper sulfate solution using inert electrodes. The first step is to weigh the mass of two different graphite electrodes and to keep a note of these. Our next step is to measure out 50 centimeters cubed of copper sulfate solution. The experiment requires a simple circuit with the power pack set to six volts and the leads connected to the graphite rods using crocodile clips. The graphite electrodes are inserted into the copper sulfate solution. This completes the circuit as the ions in the solution are free to move and carry the charge. It is at this point that electrolysis occurs, with the copper sulfate solution being decomposed and copper ions gathering at the cathode to form pure copper. At this point the electrodes can be removed and dried and you can clearly see the buildup of copper on the cathode. When the electrodes are reweighed, you can see that the anode has roughly the same mass, whilst the cathode has gained considerable mass due to the addition of copper. Electrolysis is also utilised for a process called electroplating, in which a fine coating of an additional metal can be placed on the outside surface of another. In this process, the inert graphite electrodes are replaced with different metals, in this case two 5 pence pieces. Here, the 5 pence pieces act as the anode and the cathode, and you can clearly see the buildup of copper on the cathode 5 pence piece. This can be used to improve the properties of objects, as well as improve the appearance of jewellery.